The Thor Abelstar, or Thor Abel Star, also known as Thor Epsilon was an early American expendable launch system consisting of a PGM-17 Thor missile, with an Abelstar upper stage. It was a member of the Thor family of rockets, and was derived from the Thor Abel. The Abel Star second stage was an enlarged version of the Abel, which gave the Thor Abel Star a greater payload capacity compared to the Thor Abel. It also incorporated restart capabilities, allowing a multiple burn trajectory to be flown, further increasing payload, or allowing the rocket to reach different orbits. It was the first rocket to be developed with such a capability and development of the stage took a mere eight months. Nineteen Thor Abelstars were launched between 1960–65, of which four failed, and a fifth resulted in a partial failure, as only one of two payloads separated from the upper stage. The first failure was the launch of Courier 1A, an experimental communications satellite, on 19 August 19. 1960 when the first stage shut down 30 seconds earlier than planned and was destroyed by the range safety officer. On 30 November, another launch involving a transit satellite failed in practically identical fashion. This episode nearly created an international incident as parts of the Thor landed in Cuba. Cuban leader Fidel Castro subsequently sold off the Thor's engine to the Soviets and the Chinese received its thrust vectors, which ended up proving valuable to the latter's development of a ballistic missile capability. To prevent this from happening again, future Thor Abelstar launches had their flight paths modified to avoid passing over Cuba. The launch of a transit satellite on the 22nd of February 1961 was successful, but its companion Lofty satellite failed to separate from the second stage. The third failure was the launch of several piggybacked satellites on the 24th of January 1962 when the second stage produced insufficient thrust to achieve orbital velocity. The fourth and final failure was the launch of an anageodetic satellite on 10 May 1962 when the second stage completely failed to ignite. Two versions were built, the Thor Abelstar 1, with a minus 21 German Marx Thor, and an AJ-10 104 second stage engine, and the Thor Abelstar 2, which had a DSV-2A Thor first stage, and an uprated AJ-10 104D engine on the second stage. Thor Abelstar 1 launches occurred from LC-17 at Cape Canaveral, and Thor Abelstar 2 rockets were launched from LC-75-1 at Point Arguello, which has since become part of Vandenberg Air Force Base and is now designated SLC-2. See also List of Thor Abelstar launches